Nervous about online teaching for the first time? Well, stay tuned for the top tips to get you started with online teaching from home. Hi, my name is Gemma Perry and welcome to Mooncake, where ESL teaching is made easy. If you're new here, then you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching English abroad, make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also, real quick, if you are new here, say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you are teaching. So if you're like me and you're living that quarantined life in China right now, then it's quite likely that you've been asked to start teaching online. <laughs> For classroom-based teachers, this can be intimidating for a number of reasons. Firstly, you might not have ever taught online before, and secondly, even if you have, this situation is slightly different. We're all stuck at home with limited to no materials and without the support of an online teaching company. So what are we going to do? Well, fear not, because whether you're being asked to produce short teaching videos or full online classes, this two-part video series is here to help you prepare and give the best class for your students. So let's get started with today's topic, short teaching videos. Not all schools are opting to teach full online classes, but rather asking teachers to produce short teaching videos that can be shared with students through social media platforms. Now these videos don't need to be that long, they're usually around 30 seconds to a minute. Of course, the first thing to think about when we're producing video is your setup. So make sure you check out my online teaching tips video linked below where I go through some top tips to get you looking your best on camera. Next you need to think about your student's age group and their language level so that you can choose an appropriate subject or activity. Today I'm going to share a few ideas to help get you going, starting with nursery rhymes. Now nursery rhymes are fantastic for those lower level younger students because the rhyming helps to develop phonological awareness. Now phonological awareness is a pre-phonics skill. The more students develop their phonological awareness, the better they're going to do at phonics later on. Now to help keep your video short and to the point, we're going to follow a simple video format. Start with a quick hello and introduction. Then you're going to do a sound or an action to help give context to what you're talking about. You're then going to sing the nursery rhyme with some simple TPR that students can follow at home. If you're not sure what I mean by TPR, then make sure you check out my video on TPR linked below. So altogether, your video should look something like this. Bah. Hello, everybody. I'm Miss Gemma. Hello, Miss Gemma. Bah. I'm a sheep. Hey, I know a song about a sheep. Let's sing together. Are you ready? Hands on your head. Hands on your head. Are you ready? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Yay! Bye bye! I know, I know, you feel really silly when you're doing it, but the kids love it tongue twisters. For higher level students, tongue twisters can also be a fun video. Now tongue twisters are great because they help to strengthen and stretch the muscles in the mouth which later can help improve pronunciation. You can follow the same video format and produce a video that looks something like this. Hi everybody! I'm Miss Gemma. Miss Gemma. Say hello Miss Gemma! <gasps> beep beep! It's a yellow lorry. Wow, hey, I know a tongue twister about yellow lorries. Let's try it together. Five times, nice and slow, yellow lorry. Are you ready? Yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry. Whew, that was easy. Let's try and go a bit faster. Are you ready? Yellow lorry, five times, nice and fast. Ready? Yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry, yellow lorry. Whew! That was hard. Whew. Good job, everybody. Bye bye. Don't be afraid to draw or find pictures online to help give context to the tongue twister or song that you're practicing. Phonics. 
Phonics is a great topic for short videos because you can isolate one phonics skill and have students practice at home. Think about your students and where they are with their phonics learning. You could teach the letter sounds, blending, segmenting, or even sight words. If you're not sure how to develop your students' phonics skills, then be sure to check out my series on teaching phonics linked below. Once again, using that same video format, it's easy to produce an engaging video. Hi everybody! I'm Miss Gemma. Miss Gemma. Everyone say hello Miss Gemma. Hello everybody. So today we're going to learn how to write the letter A. 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 Hmm. Who knows what the letter A sounds like? That's right. A. 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 Good job. All right, everyone, take your pens. Are you ready? We're gonna go top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. Should we try again? Top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. Wow, good job, everybody. Bye-bye. I know, I know, I know, I know, it's totally cringy. But you have to remember that we're competing with the TV and so we need to be more energetic and enthusiastic about what we're doing than we would in the classroom. For those lower level students that are not quite writing letters yet, you can have them practice different lines at home. This means that they'll be developing their pencil grip, their control and their directionality. Have them start with simple straight lines going from top to bottom and left to write and then later introduce some curved lines. You can also have them practice different shapes. Think about your students, what their needs are and what they should be practicing the most. So there you have it, some short teaching video ideas to help get you started with teaching from home. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button and by sharing any ideas that you might have in the comments below. As I mentioned before, be sure to check out the online teaching tips video where I go through some top tips to get you looking fantastic on camera and be sure to check out part two of this teaching tips series where I go through how to teach group classes online. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, or if you're interested in a mooncake sweatshirt or mug, you can find them linked below. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake.